listen, where we are with science and technology is a completely contingent matter. I mean, there's nothing inevitable about it. The Industrial Revolution, why would it happen? Who would have predicted it would happen in some grisly, rainy bits of uh, North England coal. In, the, in the 18th century? Well, there was coal elsewhere, mm. you know, and uh, could have happened mm. anywhere. It happened there. Uh, that's one of those mm -hmm. frail constructs that... Uh, so, the other thing, just to come back to my story about people stay, standing in line for uh, an iPhone 4, um, <laughs> is that I was quite interested in technologies that we all take for granted and then become very grubby. You know? So, it, it is an absolute miracle to fly from San Diego to San Francisco in an hour and a half but it's just such a drag. Mm -hmm. The luggage carousel, the security. Yeah. Oh yes, you can see the clouds in the Vantenna wilderness. <laughs> but you know, uh, that's just the way in which an iPhone or a smartphone ends up in your sock drawer mm -hmm. or in the hands of your grandchildren, discarded. So in this world, I wanted the grubby reality mm -hmm. with the future poured into it. So you could have 400 mile an hour trains uh, on, you know, levitated by magnetic force, zipping you from uh, San Francisco to, to LA. Mm -hmm. But they'd be crowded and dirty and noisy and the windows would be filthy. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, it'll just be another bore mm -hmm. of you know, the necessary things of life. And you can't check in your luggage, you have to heave it up onto the luggage rack yourself. <laughs> um, and it's, it's, it's that rub off of, of, of when the shiny future arrives, it rapidly absorbs itself into our endlessly untidy bedroom, as it were, mm. our teenage bedroom of social reality. <laughs> uh, that, that's what fascinates me. Uh, when messy humans get their shiny new toys, the shine goes off very quickly. <laughs>